I'm back. It's story time again. Today's story will be shorter. It is a piece I wrote just yesterday after a long hike through a desert trail. I felt moved to share this. It's uh, an in real time message from my heart. And I hope by the end of it, you will understand why I am posting these videos with more regularity. So it's called Permission to Speak. Here goes. When I was three years old, I attended church every Sunday. One morning, when I'd had enough of the pastor's long-winded sermon, I let out a loud wail. Mom, is this ever going to be over? My sudden outburst sent the entire congregation into a bout of uneasy laughter. From the mouth of babes, the pastor joked before wrapping up his message quick-like. I attended six grade schools, each of them in a different zip code. Every report card, it was the same drill. Straight A's with a note scribbled in the margin that read something like, Candace is such a delight to have in class, but she talks way too much. Now, as an honor student, I was a quick study, so I soon learned to quell my inner fire, to keep my opinions to myself, and to take up as little space as possible. Reigning in my voice had become reflexive by the time I reached adulthood. I grew very good at keeping tabs on my every expression, and a decade-long stint in New Ageism only seemed to add to my overbearingly self-conscious tendencies. I was my own private stalker, and I kept creepily close tabs on my every move and my every word spoken. Well into my 30s, self-censorship was totally doable. That is, except when I began to feel deeply passionate about my own creations. Which brings me to the fall of 2014. I was teaching an online coaching program, the second of its kind. I designed it myself. And I'd taken this risk before, but this time I pushed my edge a bit further. I added in some live classes to add value and encourage participation. All in all, the course went very well and feedback was positive along the way. That is until I met with my last client on the final week of the program. We had a one-to-one -one session and I was sort of bracing myself a bit because she had seemed a little out of sorts with my teaching style. Nevertheless, I bravely asked for her feedback. I thought I might get a feel for what I could perhaps do better on the next go around. She sat less than four feet away from me in my home office on a tea stained love, love seat that I had artfully covered with a red faux suede sofa cover. She looked me dead in the eye and she spoke very plainly. You talk too much. I was able to receive her feedback with grace in the moment. I even gave her a warm hug as she left, but her words lingered. They reverberated in tune with a very old song that I had long lived in my bones. And after years of adjusting and tweaking the volume of my voice in this unguarded moment of creative expansion, I had done it again. I had allowed my most natural voice to break through. And as always, it was way too much. Feedback regarding my verbal exuberance has been constructive. I've certainly become a better listener over the years. And it's also left me a bit creatively constipated. My voice obstructed by fear of criticism. Case in point, less than a year after this biting critique, despite over dozens of raving client testimonials, I pulled down not just this program, but all of my online courses. I surrendered my power, just as when I was a little girl, always and forever, waiting for permission to speak. From whom, I'm not sure. I just keep playing the part of the good kid in class, my hand perpetually raised high in the sky in hopes of being called upon. And when I do get called upon, and someone tries to silence me, I too often make the mistake of listening. Now that I'm in my midlife, I'm learning to embrace my prolifically verbose spirit. And now I'm asking this question. What if the thing that has always been wrong with me is as right as rain? 
What if I allowed my voice to pour through me without apology? What might my life look like then? Now, if you know me at all, you know that in recent years, when it comes to courage, I'm an all-in kind of gal. As such, I'm thinking about hosting a podcast. That's right. Publishing more articles for sure. Because talking too much is one of the things I'm the very best at. And the only permission I need is my own. My voice is bright. It's bold. It's verbose. I sometimes speak in long paragraphs because I have so many thoughts and feelings, lots and lots and lots of thoughts and feelings that overwhelm and push against my body armor and threaten to explode me. I'm a creative being and I myself become liberated when I express what's most alive and real inside of me. So I am hereby giving myself permission to speak however I please, whenever I please. If you want to listen, cool. I welcome the privilege of your ear wholeheartedly. If you think I'm sharing too much, some part of you feels moved to say, man, you talk a lot. Well, you're in luck because I've only got two more words for you. Damn straight. Thank you for listening. I can feel that, that tremor inside, you know, the one when you can feel a vulnerability hangover coming on. Um, and I kind of hope that feeling never really goes away. I, th- I feel like when we're pushing ourselves to grow, that that tremor is a signal that we're moving in a positive direction. This is why fear and I are developing an alliance. So my voice might always crack and quake a little bit. Um, But in addition to the vulnerability hangover that I feel, I also feel just so much aliveness and glorious vibrancy inside when I express what's true for me. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for listening. I hope that whatever is innate in you that's always been there, that you may have squelched because of pressures from the outside and therefore on the inside, that you take this time to set that free. Right now, the world needs each of us to unleash our unique magic more than ever. And I would love to witness what you have to share with us. Thanks again for listening. Have an amazing day. Stay home. Connect virtually. And we got this. Until next time.